I am an Orthodox Christian. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God's one, Amen. Uh, today is the third segment, which we are dealing with uh, how to have uh, the peace of God. And we started by talking about uh, having the peace with God first before we can have the peace of God. And in the first segment, I uh, told you about uh, uh, sin, how uh, Adam and Eve uh, fell, and uh, the second segment, we talked about sacrifice, how, how Christ, through the shedding of his blood, we have now, he uh, uh, completely paid for our sins. And uh, uh, the third segment we'll talk today about is salvation. Uh, so Christ himself came, and through the shedding of blood, uh, we have now uh, been acceptable to God. And uh, uh, Christ sh shed his blood for all the world. For Christ, uh, he himself said that uh, in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So uh, the Lord himself took on flesh from Mary, came down, uh, shed his blood, and those who only, those who accept him, because he said, I am... Uh, the truth, the life. And through him, we have life. Through him, he is the life. Through him, we have life eternal. So by accepting him, uh, we have eternal life. Now, there is a story about uh, King Hussein in, the, uh, in Jordan. Uh, and the story tells us that uh, many uh, of his officers were want to uh, overthrow him. Uh, he was able to uh, uh, stop them at the right time put them in jail, uh, but after that, everybody was expecting him to, uh, to hang them, to, to kill them, because uh, the law of the land says that uh, that's what you deserve. Uh, justice in the military, if you want to overthrow the king, is you die. Uh, most of them were expecting to die, but the king uh, had mercy on them. He did not have him killed. Uh, Justice is to get what you deserve. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. But the king also gave him something better. He uh, took him away from jail, and he gave him good position in his government, uh, good leadership position. Uh, that's we call grace. Is getting what you don't deserve is called grace, uh, grace of God. And uh, if, if King Hussein was able to do it for, own, for his own purposes. Imagine our God who loves us so much. Uh, he done it for us that he gave us a grace. He want us to be his children uh, and he want us to uh, overcome sin. He want us to, uh, uh, to completely renew our heart and mind to be with him, to have communication with him. So uh, salvation come through the Lord, through the uh, work of the Trinity, God the Father sent the Son, and the Holy Spirit now works in us to change our hearts and minds so we can uh, be with Him, so we can overcome sin, we can uh, live the life abundantly, like He said. He said, I came to give you life and life abundantly. Um, these three things, we have no, uh, no hand in it. it. means the Lord love uh, was overcome all of these things and he gave us uh, the best of he has so we can have relationship. What we have to do is to commit to him. Uh, and if we commit to him, we become the children of God. And if we become the children of God, we have inheritance with him. And if we become the children of God, we can call him Abba, like what St. Paul said in his letter to the Galatians. He said, uh, now we can come to him and call him Abba. Father, and um, Abba Father is something uh, that we need because God is not far from him. Imagine, uh, and we know from the Bible, from 
that God himself is called Emmanuel. Christ is called Emmanuel, God with us. Yes, God came to be with us on this earth so we can have uh, that relationship. We can talk to him without being afraid. We can talk to him with boldness. We can talk to him and uh, tell him uh, every problem we have. We can talk to him and we have confidence that he can help us through our uh, uh, difficulties. We can uh, talk to him and he will listen to us and he will grant us the, uh, the desire for our salvation, uh, most and foremost, because it is important to seek him first and to seek his kingdom and then all of that will be added to us, all the living uh, matters, all the, uh, our clothing, our, our uh, shelters, God will provide for all of us. And, uh, uh, and also God will, will heal us from, at least from our uh, infirmities and our sicknesses. Uh, and as we know that he is able and willing uh, to, to take care of us. Uh, so my brother and sister in Christ, as we, discuss this particular series, how to have the peace of, with God. The next series will be how to have the, best, the peace of God, uh, which surpasses all understanding. Uh, this peace of God uh, will give us uh, the, the desire so we can live in peace and tranquility within ourselves, within our community, and with our, our nation. And uh, I hope that you will tune in to the next segment as we continue this series, how to have the peace of God and the peace of the Lord that surpass all understanding be with you all. Amen.